Equity Dumas, KPA Dockers, coming up. Of course, this is the most anticipated match up for this week both teams making a playoffs push both teams aiming for better seeding going into the playoffs as it stands with the latest standings of the Kenya Basketball Federation USIU Nairobi City Thunder the top two teams and if things go as planned and USIU locks on to the second If USIU locks on to the second place, we might have an equity Nairobi City Thunder semi-finals. Tomorrow, USIU will play Ulinzi Warriors in a very important matchup. If the students win, they will have locked up that second seed. And that will mean we will have a Nairobi City Thunder Equity Duma semi-finals. What a year for Kenyan basketball. All our fans watching live from Mombasa and a big shout out to our Mombasa brothers. The Coast Series who 
who have also done justice for this game by bringing to us live games to all the fans who are in Nairobi. Very important matchup for the rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, Karibuni Sana, Foul and One, as we bring to you this live broadcast that has been sponsored by the Equity Numas Men's Basketball Club. Asante Sana, Equity Numas, for sponsoring this live event. TMIZO, Captain Bosire. And the entire team, Equity Dumas, Asante Nisana. Equity Dumas, on court today we expect Moses Wanjara, Victor Bosire, David Siaji, Thomas Kiyoko, Alex Ramazani, Titus Musembi, Eugene Adera, Nick Ogol, Ivan Ombiru, Mariol Achiel, Joel Mtambwe, and Lenson Kisia. For the Dockers, we are expecting to see we just we just John Fares, Simon, Mwanzia, Lennox Wanje, Gary Wekesa, Benjamin Muga, Tobias Odiambo, Hadiara, Abadalei, Abdalei, Job Byron, Brian Sivachi, Salim Kisilu, and Dolph Otieno. Number zero is Fares Adala. The coaches, of course, Equity Dumas being led by Kari Odiambo, aka T9. For the Dockers is the Kenya men's national team head coach, Mr. Cliff.
Cliff Opuk for the Dockers. Our referees, we have Hazel, Theo, and Jazz. And that was the Kenya National Anthem and the East African Community Anthem. Logo ya Zitek tunatoa. Tunatoa logo ya Zitek. Cliff Alela Ocampo. Sijamuona kwa line up leo. What a game we have on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Kenyan Basket Federation to the world. Falela, Tumakitu, Tumakitu, Ocampo. <laughs> Shukran sana Equity Dumas for sponsoring this live event. Also thanking all our fans. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's push Kenyan basketball to the world. This is the best league in the eastern central of Africa. And now we are making a case to have an NBA team playing a friendly with a Kenyan team.
to prove to us that they are better than us. Faisal. Yes. Faisal. Faisal on the bench. I see Faisal. Equity Bank, starting five, will be number eight, Thomas Kiyoko, Joel Ntambue, number 18, Captain Victor Bosire, Nick, and Eugene, number 11. For the Dockers, we have Adiara, Haidara, Dolph, Adala, Lennox. And Salim Kisulu. Tip off. And equity control the first position. Now Joel. Joel Ntambu. Joel on the post. Kicks it out. Eugene. Facing his former team. And Eugene Adera draws the first blood to get us going in this matchup. Adala with the three. Basket no good. Rebound back to Adala. Now Lennox. Lennox with the DHO. Lennox with the layup. Aidara with a strong rebound. No good. Salim. No good. Now Eugene, almost losing it. Nick, also facing his former team. Nick, pulling convert on that drive. Felt like he was fouled. And KPA, with the first turnover of the game, goes against Hadiara. Now Eugene. Eugene Adera. Eugene with the moves to Nick. Nick thinking about it. Nick with the shot. Basket no good. Now Dolph. And that's back to back turnovers by the Dockers. That turnover came courtesy of Dolph. Dolfotieno, now Captain Bosiri. Bosiro handling. Bosiri with the three. No good. Haidara with the big rebound. Now Dolph on the attack. Dolph on the move. Pulling finish. Salim with the rebound. Pulling control. Now Nick running with Eugene. Eugene. Thomas. Thomas pulling hit. We know Thomas Kiyoko as one of the best perimeter shooters in our league. But couldn't convert that time. Now Dolph. Salim. Salim on the attack. Basket no good. It's a loose ball. Bosire controls. Now Lennox with the layup, no good. Adala, pulling finish. Adala, again. Lennox with the three, and the fishes with home. Lennox with the huge three. Now Joel with the reply. 
Colin Convert, Joel Ntambwe, former USIU and Dunkind Academy player, went to the US and now back. Aidara, Lennox, Lennox attacking Bosire, Lennox with the giant killer, no good. Now Bosire. Bosire to Thomas. Thomas misses back to back. Perimeter shots. Turnover, KPA. And now Nick. On the fall line is Nick. Next time, we urge our referees, if you don't have user-friendly handwriting, do not touch that score sheet. You are giving the commentators a very difficult time. Where is Sue or Hazel Agina? They can be writing the score sheets, not just as and Theo. On the foul line is Nick. Misses his first free throw. Aidara, Aidara wide open. Now it's Lennox. And that's an off ball foul. Going against Thomas Kiyoko. KPA with the first substitution. Out goes Salim. In comes Muga. Adala. Adala is foul. That was a hard foul by Nick. On Faris Adala. Now Eugene and Joel, strong in the pain. Joel and Tambo foul. Victor Busire inbounding to Eugene. Joel again. Joel with the turnover. Haidara. Haidara. Blocked by Victor Bosire. That's a big block from Captain Victor Bosire. Leading by example. What a defensive hustle by Victor Bosire. Job Byron. Another danger man for the Dockers. It's Eugene Adera controlling. Eugene against Dolph. 
Joel. Joel Tambwe. Joel with the foul line jumper and a steal. Basket in and out by Eugene Adera. That was a good steal by Victor Bosire. Now Dolph. Dolph attacking. Dolph with the turnover. Bosire turning it over immediately. Now Lennox wide open. Lennox with the big three. Lennox Swanje with his second three pointer of the game. Joel Tambo. Joel to Thomas. Thomas on the attack. Basket no good. Thomas Kiyoko, a very underrated player who can give you the business if you sleep on him. Now Joel to Captain Bosire. Bosire with a jumper, no good. Lennox on the run. Job Byron. Job going strong but blocked. Eugene Adera with a giant killer. And that's how you go to the rim. Remember, KP number 13 Haidara is a good defensive player and a good rim protector. Nick substituted. Coming in is Ivan. Another rebounding monster for the Dumas. Now Dolph with the foul line jumper. No good. Thomas with the rebound. Victor Bosire controlling. Now Thomas to Joel. Now Ivan. Ivan with the perimeter jumper. No good. Lennox attacking. Lennox blocked. Joe Byron blocked. And Equity Dumas are doing a good job. Joel Ntambwe. That's a grown man move from Joel Ntambwe attacking Haidara. Muga couldn't complete that. Joel again. Joel with the big three. Basket no good. Dolph is fouled by Eugene. And you saw how Joel protected the basketball against Aidara. That's how you go to the rim when you have short blockers lurking around. Behind the cameras is none other than JPT, our engineer, Felix Bendo on the controls. Job Byron missing that wide open three. Victor Bosire stripped and that's a foul on Dolph. I thought that was good defense but the referees thought otherwise. And as we say on fall and one, the referee's confusion is always final. Six nine in favor of the Dumas. And Bosire has been substituted. In comes Titus. Eugene Adera again, and he gives them the two small signal. Now Tobias couldn't finish that. Equity Dumas are doing a good job of packing the paint and making everything difficult for the Dockers. 
who don't look to shoot the basketball today. Eugene Adera. Tito. Back to Tito on the corner. Basket no good. And now Thomas. Thomas with the turnover. Was a big rebound by Thomas Kiyoko. Lens on the beast, Kisia. Dumas number 13, the rebounding machine. Brian Sivachi. Another big player. Now Job. Job Byron. Job Byron with the travel. It will be interesting to see the matchup between Brian Sivachi and Lenson Kisia. Joel Ntambwe. Joel loses it and falls. And Joel Ntambwe not happy with that position. And he's immediately fouled. Immediately sub, in comes David Siaji. David Siaji, a very hard working player, always in the gym. Muga with the foul line jumper, and he makes it in front of David Siaji. And Siaji with his first foul. Benjamin Muga could not complete the old fashioned three point play. On the attack, the equity doomers, led by that man, Eugene Adera with the moves, with the handles. Good defense. Eugene again, and a... What a move. Eugene Adera, cutting into size, his former team. And every time he makes a basket, he gives his defenders the too small signal. Eugene is sending a message. He's clearly sending a message to his former team. But couldn't complete the old-fashioned three-point play. Eugene Adera telling Cliff Opuk, you made a mistake. This is another test for Coach Cliff, who is also the head coach of our senior national team, men. All eyes are on him and the Dockers. They have had a poor run, of course losing back-to-back -back games against USIU and Olinzi Warriors looking to bounce back from this game. All eyes on coach Cliff Opuk. Job Byron. Job Byron on the post. Job and one. Foul and a basket. And that is the type of aggression that we expected from KPA number 14, Mr. Job Byron. Equity with another substitution. Out goes Eugene Adera. And in comes Alex Hotsos Ramazani. Benjamin Muga. 
Poland convert. Now Alex Hotsos Ramazani to Titus Assassin, Kyoko. Now Lens on the Beast. Titus Assassin with an air ball. And that is a KPA basketball. Benjamin Muga. Colin Convert. And that is the end of the first quarter. 13-10 are the scores in favor of the Dumas. Kobonieto Ifan. Guys are asking, guys are asking. Is the scoreboard on? Our digital scoreboard is hey. Okay. Remember to support Fowland One. Our MPSA number is on the bottom left of your screen. Also, we would like to thank Equity Dumas for sponsoring this live event. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Support Fallen One as we keep on bringing you this content and raising the level of our basketball league in all levels. Asante Nisana to all those who are following us. Coach K, Peter Kimani, I see you. Get Sporty, Asante, Maxwell Kipchumba. Steve Mamba Wekesa, Shukran Sana. And that is a block. That is a block by Ivan Omubiru on Brian Sivachi, who was put on a friend zone. Titus Assassin, Colin Convert, Job High Octane Byron. Tobias Odiambo. Brian Sivachi with the foul line jumper. Basket no good. Alex Hotsos Ramazani. Almost stolen. KPA number 10. Tobias Odiambo. Putting the straps. On Ramazani Hotsos. Alex Ramazani almost losing it. Titus Assassin. Basket no good. David Siaji fighting for the rebound. Getting the rebound. Nick. Pulling convert. Nick again. Basket no good. David Siaji again. To Titus Assassin. Kyoko. Now Nick. Basket no good. Equity Bank fighting hard 
for all the offensive rebounds. And the Docker, Docker's bigs, Brian Sivachi, Joe Byron, need to put bodies on this equity bank, Dumas bigs, who are doing a good job of getting all the boards. Nick misses his first free throw. Swishes in the second one. Lennox Wanje back in it. Lennox. Lennox working. And that's a turnover, no? Benjamin Muga. Benjamin Muga. To KPA. Simon Mwanzia. With the jelly layup. Cutting the scores. To only one basket. Ivan. And Brian Sivachi returns the favor. Meeting Ivan at the summit. What an encounter. What a game. Now David Siaji. Siaji. Foul on the jumper. End to end action. The game living up to its hype and Brian Sivachi unfortunately being subbed out after that big defensive play on Ivan we expected him to be back on court to and now another turnover by the Dockers Nick Nick on the layup and Nick with the easy two. Equity Bank 18. Joe Byron. Foul on the play. The ever aggressive Joe Byron. Don't forget to support Foul and One. Job Byron misses both. He is the life of this team. And they are expecting him to bring his A game tonight if they are to win. And he makes his second free throw. 13 18. Two more substitutions for the Dockers. In comes Salim and Adala. Out goes. Benjamin Muga and Job Byron. Another player we would love to see in the game. Now Ivan Omubiru. Against Victor Bosire. Salim with the three. Mrs. Badley. Alex Hotsos to Captain Victor Bosire. David Siaji with the reverse. Equity Dumas settling in the game. Victor Bosire with the big defensive play. Lennox Wanje cannot believe his eyes. Victor Bosire putting the clamps on him and the straps. What a defensive play from Captain Victor Bosire and Coach Cliff.
very furious. Job Byron, Brian Sivachi. Much needed help for the Dockers. And that was a quick timeout by the Dockers. Coach Cliff not happy with his team. Let's see what adjustments he's going to make. The scores are at 24-13. 5.47 to play. Equity Duma's lead. A big shout out to all those who are following us live. Kenyan watching. Cliff Ocampo. Asante sana Cliff Ocampo. Gilbert Ogilo Unguso. A.K.A. The World Boss. Shukran sana. Salim with a turnover. Adala, Lennox, Salim, Salim with the jumper, no good, Adala with the rebound, couldn't convert, Ramazani Hotsus, to David Siaji, Siaji with the jumper, couldn't convert, Lennox Wanje, kicks it out, basket no good, and that's a foul on Alex, Ramazani, we all expected Lennox Wanje to make the easy two. Lennox Wanje with that poor decision, given that Nick, Nick with the easy two. Simon Mwanzia, Lennox Wanje. To Ijas John, who was met at the summit by none other than the rim protector himself, Ivan Omubiru. And it looks like KPA is playing a small lineup. Ocampo. Shukran Sana Ocampo. Ocampo to Mepata Ujumbe. Asante Sana Ocampo. Also remember that this live broadcast has been sponsored by the Equity Dumas men's basketball team. Eugene Adera back in. Eugene Adera calling the plays to Nick. Nick to Bosire. Bosire with the three. Calling convert. Big rebound. And a cross court pass. And a floater by Eugene Adera. 
who's still making every basket and trolling the Dockers. His message will be received loud and clear by the Dockers. Twenty-eight thirteen. Adala. Adala to Simon Mwanzia. Simon calling the plays. Simon to Salim. Salim with the three. Another air ball. Big rebound Adala. Adala with the moves. And that, that was a short clock violation. KPA Dockers have no answers. For this equity bank, Dumas zone defense. Eugene again. Eugene again is Lennox. Now Victor Bosire attacking. And that's a turnover by Captain Victor Bosire. 28 13 are the scores. Just over three minutes of play in the first half. Another DHO action. They have been running that the whole game. Dolph with the three and the fishes it home. And finally, the Dockers are on the board. Eugene. Tied up, and that's a foul. Foul going against KPA's number five, Lennox Wanje. Joel Ntambwe back in, and that looks like another problem for the Dockers. And they bring in Joe Byron. That substitution has been long overdue. Salim with the steal. Joe Byron fresh from the bench. And it's an offensive foul. It is an offensive foul by Joe Byron. Who thought he was fouled by Victor Bosire. The referee is deliberating. That call was made by Hazel Lagina. And the call stands. It is an offensive foul by Job Byron. No, they reversed, they reversed the call after deliberating. The foul was called on Victor Bosire. And that is what we would like to see from our referees. You make a mistake. You deliberate. And give us the right call. That will make everyone's life easier. If our referees kept on doing that. Now Joe Byron on the line. Job Byron on the line. Job Briggs is fast. And Job Byron has only made one free throw. Out of the eight trips he has had on the line. Only one free throw. Bricks the second one. Joel Ntambo with the rebound. 28-16. Eugene Adera. Victor Bosire. Joel Ntambo. Joel Ntambo. Joel against Job. Joel against Job. 
And Joel gets to the rim. It's foul. And no call. No call. No call by the referees. It should have been a foul. Equity brings in Jazzy number seven. Marol, Marol for the Dumas. Out goes Ivan. And for the Dokas, Haidara is back in. Now Dolph attacking. Dolph with the turnover. And that's a loose ball. That's a loose ball call. And Equity Dumas will control that possession. Inbounding is Joel Ntambwe. Dolph with the easy two. That was a good defensive read by Dolph. Now Eugene. And Joel, Captain Bosire. Bosire to Joel. Joel attacking. Kicks it out. Bosire with the three. Victor Bosire with the big three. Salim with the answer. Salim Kisulu with the answer. Bosire again. Calling convert this time. Now Lennox. Lennox hunting. Lennox going to. And it's an offensive foul. By Salim. Joel Ntambwe. Who has blood relationships with Jonathan Kuminga? Maybe this is the closest we will ever get to seeing an NBA player. Busire, and it's a turnover. KPA 12, Dolph Otieno. Dolph attacking. Dolph is blocked. Fares Adala with the follow up. And KPA are starting to show signs of a team with urgency. And that looked like a goal tend on Haidara. But they call a foul instead. Captain Victor Bosire on the line. 31-22. Lenson Kisia. Lenson Kisia back in. The rebounding machine. Bosire converts his first free throw. Makes his second. Lennox Wanji. Almost losing it. Lennox Wanji. Salim. With the three. No good. Rebound Busire. And that marks the end of the first half. 30-22. In favor of the Equity Bank Dumas who are also the main sponsors of this live broadcast. KPA Dockers will have a lot to talk 
in this break. Coach Cliff Opuk under pressure. They have to find a way of winning this. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Support Fallend One. Mpesa bana Mpesa leo atuoni. <laughs> Engineer anasema simu yake imenyamaza. Simu imenyamaza. Wacha tuwatafute, wacha tuwatafute. Atuoni warafa. Felix Luke <laughs> All our fans in Mombasa We appreciate you Coach Abenson Coach Abenson bado bado sijaona ujumbe mfupi coaches tunaingoja sana Sama room Sama room bana weka kitu buda Wewe bana unateta sana Sama room <laughs> Richard Beckloff Richard Beckloff Omba mgani Richard Beckloff Omba mwetu ama kuna omba mwingine Shout out ni Osasa Morans I see you Eriko Jodo Mutoro Also in attendance Kenya Airways Albert Odero, I see you. Coach Alcatraz. Dennis Nderitu. Nderitu bana, tuma kitu Nderitu.
KPA Dockers trailing. 33-22 are the scores in favor of the Equity Bank Dumas. And if KPA are to come back in this contest, they need to involve their bigs. Coach Cliff Opuk has been playing a small lineup, and that is why Equity Bank are getting everything in the paint. Dennis Nderitu, ata coins tunachukua mtu wangu. Ata coins tunachukua. Samuel Arum, shukran sana. Samuel Arum, ni kusema na kutenda. Wachana na Nderitu anaongea tu. <laughs> shukran sana. Samuel Arum. Ujumbe wako tumeipokea na moyo mkunjufu. Robert SFDC. Robert SFDC. Leo amekosa bundles. Christopher Shambi. <laughs> Eh, hey, Coach Cliff is like Doc Rivers. I see no lies. We still have two quarters to go. Who knows? Maybe the Dockers will get their act together and come and give us a show. Nobody wants this to be a wasted night. We really want to see a basketball show. This was a huge game, a very huge fixture that has to deliver to the fans we are doing this for the fans who have turned up in large numbers Shout out to Coach Gilbert Ogilo Onguso, a.k.a. Mr. Wild Bus. Shukran sana. Amos Washira. Tunakuona. We have games lined up tomorrow. The Equity Bank Hawks will be playing against the USIU. Ladies team. To match up. Also important to know is that 
if USIU lock in on the second seed, we are going to have an equity bank Dumas versus Nairobi City Thunder semi-finals. USIU Tigers against to Lindsay Warriors is a game with high stakes. Sama room Anasema kuna vienyeji Sama room <laughs> Nyayo is full of beautiful women The lady is looking good I don't know what Sama room is talking about Edu G, Edu G anauliza tunataka ngapi? Edu. <laughs> Edu. Atutaki kukuumiza. Tuma kulingana na uwezo wako. <laughs> and the game is back. Lennox to Dolph. Dolph with the big three. Exactly the kind of adjustments we wanted to see. On this game, now Victor Bosire going against Dolfo Tieno. Bosire, Bosire blocked on that play. Now Dolph going strong and Dolph with the turnover. I don't know what Dolfo Tieno is thinking on that play. Eugene. And Bosire. That is the back court of the Dumas. Lenson Kisia with a high arcing jumper. And he converts. Lennox blocked. Bosire going strong. Now, that's a foul on Dolph. No. And they call it a turnover. On Equity Bank Hawks. Number seven. Marol. Adala to Lennox. Lennox, no good. Eugene with a big rebound. Eugene to Bosire. Bosire to Marol. Marol fighting and it's foul. No. Another turnover by Marol. Equity Hawks, number seven. Lennox Wanje. Aidara to Salim and finally Salim gets a three. 35-28 are the scores after that big three by Salim. And a steal from Lennox. And a basket by Lennox. That's a good defensive sequence by Lennox Wanje. Giving the Dockers some much needed energy. And now Joel. Joel Ntambwe. Flopping, complaining, and getting that technical. Jonathan Kuminga. 
I hope you are watching this. Jonathan Kuminga Tuma Kakitu. Your brother is playing. He has been teed up. 35-30. George Buyu. Shukran sana, George. Tumepata ujumbe mfupi. Eduji. Eduji alikuwa na tutolea vitisho. Atuoni ujumbe Eduji. <laughs> Edu. Mohamed Amisi Shukran sana Mohamed Tunashukuru sana tumepata ujumbe The Spliff 29 Get sporty. Ed Mwendwa. Bado tunakungoja. Coach Kolo. Mepotelea wapi. Lennox Wanje. And Lennox Wanje completes the old fashioned three point play. And now it's a two possessions game. KPA are putting their house in order. Lennox to Adala. And it's a travel. Eugene Adera, former KPA, now Equity Dumas. Joel Ntambwe, Lennox Kisia, Eugene. And Eugene is fouled hard. Will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Score still at 35-31 in favor of the Dumas. Zinadera missed both Eugene again and it's blocked hard KPA Bigs are now working overtime Adala Lennox Lennox turned it over. <laughs> Coach Cliff Opook, <laughs> very frustrated. Doesn't look like a happy man tonight. Eugene. Eugene turns it over. And looks like Lennox Wanje is hurt.
And Lennox Wanje shakes it up. Walking to the bench. And in comes Tobias Odiambo. Number 10 for the Dockers. Nick is back. For the Dumas. Bosire with the three. Basket no good. Lenson Kisia hustling. Adala to Haidara. Haidara with the lefty layup. And now it's a one possession game. Ntambwe. Foul again. No call. Adala. Pulling convert. And that's a foul on Adala. Looks like a clash of heads between Adala and Busire. But we know who the head boy is. Busire walks out like nothing happened. It looks like Fares Adala is bleeding. We hope he's okay. Captain Victor Bosire is okay. Thirty-five, thirty-three are the scores. This live broadcast has been brought to you courtesy of the Equity Bank Dumas and the Foul and One podcast in conjunction with the Kenya Basketball Federation. And Fares Adala has been walked out of the gymnasium with the medical staff of the Kenya Ports Authority team. A big thank you to them. We hope Adala is okay. Eugene Adera. Eugene Adera now. Eugene Adera going to the rim with the floater. No good. Lenson Kisia as expected. You remember Lenson Kisia in the first leg that was played in Mombasa came out big for the Dumas on the offensive boards. And Lenson converts his first free throw. Lenson misses his second one. Now to Baez. Job calling for it. Job going strong. Loses possession. To Baez again. Salim. Salim with a big three. And now the Dockers with the first lead of the game. After that big three from Salim Kisulu. Tobias again with all the energy. And it's a travel by Salim Kisulu. The scores are 36 ups. And the scorekeeper has to wake up. 
37-36, the official scores. KPA with their first lead of the game. Now Haidara to Salim. Salim with the three. No good. And that is KPS basketball. That is KPS basketball. That is KPS basketball. And the referees have reversed that call. That would have been a very controversial talking point in this game. Had it gone the other way. Inbounding is Benjamin Muga. KPA number 8. Joe Byron to Salim. Salim with the layup. No good. Haidara with the rebound. Tobias with the travel. Thirty-eight, thirty-six. Official scores and an offensive foul. It's an offensive foul by Equity Bank Dumas, number twelve. Nico Gold. Benjamin Muga. KPA number 8 on the inbound. Salim. Salim pushing. Salim very comp composed. Joe Byron with the reverse. Basket no good. Aidara and his foul hard by Captain Victor Bosire. And that has always been the biggest problem for the Dumas. Captain Victor Bosire always taking the careless fouls, sometimes costing his team. And he's having a word with the officials. Aidara converts his first free throw. Bricks the second. Joe Byron with the rebound. Benjamin Muga with the three ball. And now, the Dockers outplaying the Dumas. Bosire, Nick, Nick, couldn't make. Wide open layup. Benjamin again. No good. Joe Byron. And Byron with a rebound put back. As expected, Joe Byron. Bringing the energy. And KPA Dockers are starting to show us why they are the champions. What a sequence from the Dockers. Now Salim. Salim almost losing it. Benjamin Muga with the turnover. Alex Ramazani. Victor Bosire. David Siaji. Siaji with the easy two. What a move by David Siaji. 
end to end action here in Nyayo. Yusuf Ali, shukran sana. Yusuf Ali, this is the third quarter. 40-42 in favor of the Dockers who have come out to play in the third quarter. As far as Zadala walks back in. David Siaji made his second free throw. Oh, what a move by Tobias and a layup. Tobias Odiambo off the bench giving us quality minutes. Big play after big play. Hot sauce, Ramazani. Cool it. Nick, cool it. And now, Victor Mosira with a big three. What a game. Moses Wanjara SG in the game. <laughs> Alex Hotsos Ramazani with the handles. Nico Gol with the hustle play. And Victor Bosire with a big three and we have a tie ball game 44 apiece and a quick timeout from the Dumas Aisha Salim Aisha Salim anasema mpanguze screen cameraman Aisha Salim. Namba ya Mpesa iko hapo chini. Tumia cameraman pesa ya kununua tissue paper. Apanguze screen. Third quarter, 2 or 9 to play, 44 ups. The game we all came to see is what we are getting right now. I would also want to thank our crew, the man behind the camera today is the big for nothing. Big man, Alan Areba, in the controls, Alex Bendo, a.k.a. Babure, and JPT, our engineer, Pato Udnasa, shukran sana guys, we appreciate your work. Joe Byron again. Job Byron working hard for the Dumas. Victor Bosire, Moses Wanjara to Nick, who's foul. And that's a clear foul. That's a clear foul. Laurin <laughs> Laurin Taiwo Acha kutupima Laurin Asante sana And Nick misses his first free throw 
Mrs. Booth. Aidara working hard. Joe Byron on the attack. Moses Wanjara showing us how it's done with that strong layup. Aidara. Aidara also bleeding. Another player, another player on the floor. And I could see the blood from here. Aidara bleeding. Let's hope Aidara is doesn't look okay. But the medical staff is working. Aidara bleeding. And it's the same injury, same place as the one Faris Adala got. Same injury, same place. Almost identical injuries. Don't know what's happening, but we hope we hope Aidara is okay. Felix Luke. Felix Luke, Bana. Too much to Felix Luke. Shout out to Felix Luke. One of the toughest big men that Kenya has ever produced. Felix Luke. Number Mpesa iko hapo. Fanya mambo yako Buddha. And Haidara getting treatment. I can see the medical staff wrapping his head. First it was Fares Adala, now it's Haidara. The Dockers will have to come with another game plan. Haidara is up on his feet. We are happy to see that. Frida Lillian, blood, sweat and tears. That is the spirit. And now, Brian Sivachi. Brian Sivachi. With the intentional elbow. On Davis Siaji. <laughs> Brian Sivachi with that dangerous play. And the referee, just as Jazz, having a word with him, asking him to tone it down. <laughs> Clearly, Brian Sivachi was retaliating. Two of his teammates have been injured. 
That is Brian Sivachi taking one for the team and reminding the equity doomers that KPA can also do what they're doing. And that was a technical on Brian Sivachi. Victor Bosire misses the free throw. KPA will keep the basketball. Now Salim to Tobias. Job Byron. Job Byron. Tobias. 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 Sivachi. Salim. Three no good. Moses SG with the rebound. Now Alex Hotsos Ramazani with the handles. Ramazani. SG. SG travels. Moses Wanjara SG. That's a travel. Felix Luke. Hata kama ni coins na chukua buda. 30 seconds of play. Job Byron with a easy layup. Tie ball game. 46 apiece. Alex Ramazani. David Siaji. Siaji with the jumper. No good. Easy bucket for Salim. And he converts. And that will be the end of the third. Victor Bosire. Basket no good. And the Dockers end the third quarter leading the Doomers. 48-46 are the scores. Asant sana to all our fans in Mombasa. Foul and one is here for you. KPA Dockers of course leading the charge. 48-46. A big shout out to the Equity Dumas Men Basketball Club for sponsoring this live broadcast in conjunction with the Kenya Basketball Federation. We appreciate you. Fans are in Yayo. The gym is not the gym is not full. A lot of empty seats. But either way, we are here enjoying ourselves and making sure that you guys are part of the fun that we are having inside the arena. All the fans following us on our YouTube channel. Asanteni sana. Like, comment, subscribe. Namba ya Mpesa pia msijifanye ya muoni. Engineer anasema simu yake imenyamaza sana. Watu wakasirike. Jasmine Jazo Query. I see you. Big shout out to Jasmine Jazz. Cheza na Mpesa. <laughs> Captain Victor Bosire, David Siaji. Alex Hotsos Ramazani, SG Moses Wanjara, and Nick Dokas, Benjamin, Tobias, Job Byron Salim, and Brian Bigman Sivachi. Alex Hotsos Ramazani.
Captain Bosire. Bosire attacking. Kicking it out. To Nick. Now Siaji. Siaji with the moves. Basket no good. Rebound. KPA. Controlling is Benjamin Muga. Now Job Byron. Salim. Tobias with a big three. Tobias with a big three. Tobias has had a very huge game. Victor Bosire couldn't convert that layup. Alex Ramazani back to Captain Bosire. Bosire, three no good. Davis Siaji now controlling. Back to Alex Hotsos Ramazani with a three. Misses it badly. 46-51. In favor of the Dockers. And another player injured. Papi. Shukran sana Papi. Miriam. Obura. Asante sana. Geoffrey Obo. Thank you very much. Tumepata ujumbe. Tunashukuru sana. And on the floor, we have another injured player. Looks like he's bleeding. Same place. Same injury. And now it's Tobias Odiambo. Tobias Odiambo looks like he caught an elbow. And he's bleeding. Same injury, same place. The medical team working on him. Looks like they're about to wrap his head with a bandage. And the KPA medical team is also on court protesting and talking to the referees. Charles Mirie. <laughs> Bana Mpesa ndo inafaa kwa kubwa. Than anything else. That's why we are here. Cheza na Mpesa Charles. Ukituma pesa tunatoa hiyo bana. And as you can see. Tobias. It's been worked on by the KPA medical staff. He was bleeding on his head, on his forehead. That is the third time we are having that injury in a space of 15 minutes. Felix Luke <laughs> Every contract is a crime scene <laughs> Felix Luke Now Bandage kwa kichwa Tobias Tobias Odiambo Bandage kwa kichwa Fares Adala Bandage kwa kichwa Haidara bandage kwa kichwa Three players from the Dockers Fourth quarter 8:55 to go 46:51 Now if the Dockers are going to come out with a win here this will arguably be one of the biggest upsets of this season. Of course, Equity Bank Hawks 
went to the market, did some shopping, have the players. And all their fans are expecting results. They have to do everything they can to win this one. Or this is going to be a very huge talking point. Tranel. Tranel, I see you, Tranel. Tranel, we went to Mekungoja, Tranel. Mpesa, Tranel, engineer. Mpesa ya Tranel. We appreciate you, Tranel, of course. A huge part of Fall and One. Tunashukuru sana, Tranel. Frida Lillian. Punguza violence. <laughs> Fifty-one forty-six on court for the Dockers is number 16, Brian Bigman Sivachi, Salim, Lennox, Joe Byron, and Benjamin Muga. For the Dumas, we have SG, Moses Wanjara, Captain Victor Bosire, Hot Sauce Ramazani, David Siaji, and Nick Ogol. Time in. The game is back. And today the medical staff of KPA are going home without bandages. Bandage zimetumika. And that's a turnover by Benjamin Muga. And another turnover by Equity. Eight thirty one forty six fifty one in favor of the Dockers. And Benjamin Muga has been subbed out. In comes Dolfo Tieno. Lennox to Job on that DHO action. Job to Salim. Salim attacking. Salim attacking. Salim passing and that's a turnover. No. Last touch, Equity Dumas. KPA will maintain possession. Salim on the inbounds. Lennox. Job. Job. SG. SG with Job. And that's a foul on Moses Wanjara. Moses Wanjara. Too aggressive on defense. And the matchup between Job, Byron, and Moses Wanjara will be very interesting. It's a matchup of the bald headed men. Who has the better bald head? Is it Moses or is it Job? Brian Sivachi. Lennox. Lennox attacking. Salim with the easy two. And now the Dockers with the biggest lead of the game. It's 
in favor of the Dockers. Eugene Adera with the crowd silencer. What a player, Eugene Adera. Joe Byron to Salim. Salim to Brian Sivachi. Sivachi with the baseline jumper. And now they are trading buckets. Both teams trading buckets. Eugene Adera with the giant killer. But basket, no good. Titans assassin Kyoko with the big layup and the defensive play by David Siaji making sure he buys time for his teammates Salim with the three no good Nick controlling the rebound now Eugene to Titus to David Siaji Siaji with a good body control and the finish. David Siaji going to work. Joe Byron. Joe Byron. Joe Byron. Joe Byron making it look easy. And on that battle of the bald headed men, Joe Byron came out on top. Charles Miri. <laughs> All the doctors who are on strike come to Nyayo. <laughs> what a matchup. Also shout out to our referees, our match officials, Hazel Agina, Theo, and Jazz. Judy Kanyambu, time, 6.22 to play, 52.57. In favor of the Dockers, Joel Ntambwe back on court. This looks like it will go down to the wire. Anthony Maina Shukran. Tunashukuru sana. All those who are supporting us. Charles Mirie. Ah, Charles Mirie did his thing. And Buckley. Kipchirchir. Asante Nisana. Mungo Wabariki. Eugene Adera. With the moves. Now Joel Tambwe. Joel. Joel. Joel against Job. Joel wins this time. Joel Ntambwe showing us why he was in the United States of America. Brother to Jonathan Kuminga. Job Byron. Byron to Salim. Salim attacking. Salim to Aidara. Aidara to Lennox. Lennox calling finish. Joe Byron back to Lennox. Lennox, three no good. And Lennox Wanje has had a couple of clean looks. That is his favorite spot. We expect him to make those. Lennox Wanje. 
KPA Basketball. Number two, Delfo, Delfo Tieno. Delfo Tieno with the inbounds. To Job. Job to Salim. Salim attacking Bosiri. Salim with the travel. Tracy T. Mark. I see you. Bosire with the three. No good. Haidara with the rebound. To Lennox. To Job Byron. Job to Dolph. Dolph. No good. Salim. Rebound no good. And that was a wasted opportunity. Dolph Otieno. Should convert that. And Lennox is out. In comes Tobias. Two men with bandages on court. Haidara. And Tobias. Bosire. No good. Too strong. Tobias. I don't know if Tobias and Idara can see anything. Looks like the bandages have covered their eyes. And that was a turnover from Tobias. Charles Mirie. <laughs> Charles Mirie is saying the court looks like an ICU ward. Bandages all over the court. And someone is saying KPS stands for Kenya Ports Acorinos. Salim on the free throw line is Salim. It's a three point game. And he swishes it. Equity Bank will have the possession. Time 4.30 to play. Two possessions game. Eugene That was a turnover Victor Bosire with a good defense Attacking Bosire Basket no good And Bosire was fouled on the way Tobias Odiambo With a very good defensive sequence But Turned the ball over and gave it to Victor Bosire, who draws a foul. And on the line, Victor Bosire has been struggling tonight. Bosire missed both. And that's a foul on Titus Assassin Kyoko. Another player who has been in this league forever. It's between Griffin Kenya 1 and Titus Assassin Kyoko. One of them has been in this league.
for more than 25 years. Now Job to Tobias. Tobias to his bandage mate, Haidara. Tobias with the three. And it's an air ball. And the bandage look like it's affecting his vision. Joel Ntambwe to Nick. Nick couldn't finish. Joel Ntambwe with the rebound. And that is Equity Dumas basketball. Eugene Adera, Joel Ntambu. Joel thinking about it. Joel going strong. And that's a foul. That is a foul. Aidara, basket no good on the attempt. And now they call the foul on this other side. Something is wrong. Why the referees didn't call that foul on Joel Ntambwe, but called it on Haidara, does not make any sense. It was the same foul, the same play, same way. But as we say here on Fall and One, the referee's confusion is always final. Three twenty-seven to play. Fifty-four, fifty-eight, two possessions game. Scores in favor of the Dockers, who have mounted a very huge comeback. And they are leading the way by four points with only three minutes of play. Remember, this live broadcast has been sponsored by the Equity Dumas Basketball Club in conjunction with the Kenya Basketball Federation and the Foul and One podcast. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Come join the Foul and One family as we bring to you this basketball content. Also, our engineer is wondering why his phone is too silent. Simu Aili. Mpesa buwana. Watu watu mekitu. Watu watu mekitu. We need to live stream tomorrow's game. We need everyone to support us. We have very good matchups tomorrow. The Equity Hawks will be taking on the USIU ladies team. Ulinzi Warriors against the USIU Tigers. All those games have to come to you live. Support Foul and One. Let's make it possible. Aidara, number 13 for the Dockers. A big shout out to the Coast Series. Who have been doing it for us from Mombasa. Asanteni Sana Coast Series. Aidara misses his first free throw.
Mrs. Booth. Rebound equity. Eugene Odero. Eugene Odero. Titus Assassin. Kyoko. In his year 25. In this league. Now Joel Ntambwe. To Assassin. Assassin. And that was short. Joe Byron. Attacking. Joe Byron with the easy lane. And KPA giving Equity Bank the business. Nick. And Nick was foul. Not called. Salim. Also foul. And they call an offensive foul. Two forty two to play. Fifty four sixty. Now Nick to Joel. Joel thinking about it. Joel shoots. No good. Rebound Titus. Entry pass and that's a turnover. <laughs> Tobias. Tobias controlling. Tobias. To Joe Byron. Joe Byron almost turning it over. Haidara to Dolph. Dolph, basket no good. Now Joel. Joel Tambue. Joel a bit too strong and he loses his footing. Now Titus with the jumper. Basket no good. Rebound. KPA controls it. Salim to Haidara. Haidara. Basket no good. Dolph on the follow. And Dolph with the big bucket. And now KPA Dokas are running away with this. 54-62. A minute and 50 seconds of regular time to play. Chairman Paul Otula. Asante sana Chairman Paul Otula. Well received. Leon. Leon Alshula. Former Strathmo. Asante sana Leon. Asante sana Chairman. Tumepata ujumbe. Time 1.50 to play. 54-62 are the scores. What a game. 150 is still a lot of time in basketball. Modern day basketball. A minute and 50 seconds can mean an eternity. Let us see. What adjustments Coach T9 has made with his team. And straight from the timeout into a turnover. And it is a physical game. As you can see. <laughs> Victor Bosire, captain. Very frustrated. They all thought that Eugene Adera was fouled. That was a hard foul. Captain Victor Bosire looking out for his teammates. One thirty seven to play, fifty four sixty two. And that's a travel by Tobias. We cannot afford turnovers at this point of the game now Joel Joel going strong Joel and finally a call on Joel Joel to the free throw line
It is a very intense, very physical basketball game. Low scoring game. And that's a quick timeout by Coach Cliff Opuk. Candy Judy, 126 to go. Sami Ochola, KPA came to play. They have been trailing for most of the game. But they got their act together. And right now, they have the upper hand in this contest. On paper, KPA were the underdogs coming from back-to-back -back losses at home. USIU and Ulinzi beating them in Makande. Nobody expected KPA to be playing at this level here in Nairobi against one of the most talented teams, the Equity Dumas. But it is a game of basketball and anything can happen. One twenty-six on the clock. That is the official time for this match. Nairobi City Thunder General Manager, Mr. Kushi Indiria. We appreciate you. A big supporter of Foul and One. Assistant coach Garang Deng. We appreciate you, Garang Deng. Team manager Barnett OJ. AKA Mr. Gumba. Charles Kitui. Oktus. Umoja Basketball. I see you, Octus. Niosasa Morans Basketball Club. Asante Nisana Niosasa Morans. Catherine. I see you, Catherine. Mohamed Abdullahi, Collins Paul, Felix Luke Kama Kawaida, Tunawaona, Jasmine Okwiri, 126 is a lot of time in the game of basketball. And that was another technical foul. Dolfo Tieno. Couldn't convert that. It was an un unsportsmanlike foul. But Dolph missed two very, very clutch free throws. Now, Joel. Joel converts his first free throw. Joel. Joel perfect on the line. Tobias to his bandage mate, Aidara. Aidara back to Tobias. 
And that's a very careless turnover by Tobias. And I'm still insisting that Tobias cannot see well. The bandage looks like it's covering his eyes. And a foul in the basket from Joel Ntambwe. Joel Ntambwe with four quick points. And he'll go to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Tobias Odeambo with a careless turnover for the Dockers. And Joel doing what he's supposed to do on the line. Now Tobias out to Haidara. Dolph. Dolph, 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 another turnover, and another turnover again from Equity, Joe Byron with a foul and a basket, a lot of confusion in the game right now, both teams turning the ball over in crucial moments. What a turnover from Dolph and Tobias. They will be very lucky if their team comes up with a win today. Now Joe Byron on the line. Misses it. Joe Byron has struggled on the line. Joel going strong. David Siaji, Siaji with the three, and that's an air ball. To Alex Ramazani, Titus Assassin, basket no good. And that is the end of this game. Haidara couldn't finish on that alley pass from Tobias. And the Dockers having fun with this one. They know they have won it. 25 seconds of regulation. 59-64 in favor of the KPA Dockers. Tobias lobbing it to his bandage mate, Haidara. But Haidara looks gassed up. <laughs> Robert Bob. Tobias couldn't convert. 25 seconds of regular time. KPA Dockers with arguably the biggest upset of the season. Equity Bank with their lineup. Still no win. Joel Ntambwe fall on the drive. 19 seconds of regulation. 59.65. It is a basketball game and anything can happen. Joel Tambue and Joel Tambue
with that IQ play, but didn't work. Almost turning it over. Now Salim, Salim to Job. Job on the finish. And that's a foul and a basket. Job Byron. Job Byron with the big bucket. And as I said, the battle of the bald-headed men looks like Job Byron is winning it. The KPA Dockers coming out with a big win in Nairobi. Not as we expected. And now Joe Byron is injured. Physical game. Blood, sweat and tears is what it took for the Dumas. For the Dockers to win this one. Dispossessed. And Haidara finishing it off with a huge dunk. And that might be the biggest upset of this season. KPA Dockers coming out and going home with the goods. For the Dumas, it's always a learning experience. They looked like the better team the entire first half. But in a game of basketball, a lot can happen. Asante sana to everyone, all those who are joining us, our online community. Shukran sana. That is the end of our live broadcast. Shukran sana for supporting Foul and One. Asanteni sana to everyone who has supported the podcast and this live event. To the Equity Bank Dumas for sponsoring this broadcast. Shukran sana. Good night and let us meet again for tomorrow's games.